Hey everyone, I wanna welcome you to the Worm Whisperer channel. I'm the Worm Whisperer and I'd like to welcome you to the channel or welcome you back to the channel if you are new here. So today we've got an uh, interesting video lined up for you. It's going to be uh, all about uh, looking at that old worm bin that we set up a couple weeks ago. So there's some interesting stuff going on in that worm bin. So I'm gonna go over that with you and we're gonna take a look inside that worm bin. Uh, I see the worms are starting to move up into it, so that's really nice to see. And I put a, last week I think it was, I put up a short, uh, just giving it a quick little overview to, you could have a little sneak peek at it before this video. So we're gonna have a look at that worm bin. We're gonna see what I do to that worm bin to get it up because it's kind of uh, falling behind and I'm gonna show you why it doesn't eat any food. So uh, thank you for joining me and stay tuned. All right, so we're ready. Let's have a look inside this bin. So we did this bin up a couple of weeks ago. I added a whole bunch of food and cardboard to it. Uh, we'll take a look, see if the worms are moving up into it and see what's going on in here. All right, so it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on in here today. Wow, we've got a lot of mold and a lot of things going on. I see some worms right over here that are coming up into it. So we've got quite a few worms in here. I threw this pineapple chunk in here one day a couple weeks ago. So we've got that. It looks like the worms are coming up there and starting to break that down some. Okay, so we've got a lot of, ugh, very, so this is why we didn't need, in the first video that we did a couple weeks ago, when I start, first set this bin up, I didn't add any water or anything like that. If you can see now that there's a reason for that is that it really doesn't need any water. As you can see the worms are starting to move up in here now. So there's a little worm there and it's lots of moisture in here now with all that food that I added into the bin. So we've got the worms moving up. All this mold and stuff over here, that won't hurt your bin whatsoever. We've got all our eggshells in here, breaking down. It's a little warm in there just because some of the food and stuff that's breaking down in there is heating up with the bacteria and stuff. Okay, so I see some worms up in here. Oh yeah, we've got quite a few worms going on over here in the corner. I'll move that over a little bit so you can see that. So yeah, we've got all kinds of nice worms. Wow, they're a nice size too. They're kind of moving up in here. Looks like they're eating some of this stuff up in here, some of this cardboard and stuff. But yeah, there's all kinds of worms moving up. So this has been two weeks and these worms are moving up in here and coming for up, moving up into the upper bin for the food. You can see those there. We've got this big pineapple block here. Oh yeah, so the worms are already starting to take and break this down really quickly. So that's good news. So I don't think we're gonna need any more food for this bin. We're definitely not gonna need any more food. There's definitely still lots of food in here and the worms are breaking it down here. So we're definitely not gonna to need to add any more food for this bin. If anything, there's actually a little bit too much food in this bin right now. So we're not gonna do anything to add any extra food. We're just gonna let this stuff keep breaking down and let the worms keep at it. Let's look down here a little deeper. So we still got the, the worms are in here eating the cocoa. So we still got lots of cardboard and stuff in here, lots of stuff. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit better. Well, yeah, we got lots of worms moving up in here, so that's good. We've got a few spots where the cardboard's kind of clumped together. So we're gonna break that cardboard up and that it's already ground up, but we're gonna break it up so it doesn't clump together too much. So the worms are able to get in there and start breaking it down. And the bacteria, what that is. Oh, old cucumber, well, that's in there. Okay. So we're all good there. So it looks like everything's going well in this bin. Lots of calcium from those eggshells. So we got lots and lots of eggshells in there that are breaking down for calcium. Even though they break down slowly, there's so many in here that they're gonna release a fair amount of good calcium for your plants and the worms. So we're kind of mix this up some more. Make sure there's no more clumps or anything in it. Kind of mix it up really well. Get that pineapple mixed in there. I get that bottom stuff mixed up, so the worms. So this bin is nice and damp, so even though we didn't add any water in the lot when we first set this bin up a couple weeks ago, uh, the cardboard's plenty damp now from all the food that's in here. So you don't need to add any water. Uh, this is just plenty enough. They don't need any water whatsoever in this bin when you first set it up. All this food will definitely put the moisture into it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, now we've got this bin all mixed up here, all the food mixed in, got it a little better. 
got rid of, move that mold, and the mold won't hurt anything in here. The worms will eat the dead mold as much as they'll eat the, the rotten food. So that's fine. Okay, so I got some news, some flyers here. So I'm gonna take some of these and I'm just gonna sprinkle some more of these flyers in here just because there's a lot of food in here. So I wanna add some more carbon. So I'm gonna add some more of this uh, ground up flyers in here just to get a little more carbon in here to make sure it's not too high. You wanna make sure there's a good carbon to food ratio. So by adding a little bit more of this ground cardboard or ground flyers, that'll help that out. Okay, so we'll throw some of that in there. Kind of mix it in the top there a little bit. That's where the most of the food is at. Okay, and there's that pineapple chunk. We'll keep an eye on that. That's already got a lot of worms in it, so we'll put it probably over here in the corner. So we'll just move this back a little bit and we'll put it right there in the corner. I bet you the worms are gonna go nuts for that for next time. This bin is still pretty light. It's not very heavy it's because there's not a lot of broken down here yet. Once it starts to break down more, it'll start sinking down and the worms are really good composters, good compactors. All this stuff will break down and it'll get less and less in the bin and I'll have to keep adding more carbon like I'm now. I don't know if we'll need to add some more food next time around or if this will be good enough, but we'll see for next time. In a couple weeks time, I'm gonna, or next week or a couple weeks from now, I'll do another video and we'll see how the food is breaking down in here. We may need to feed again next time, but We'll have to wait and see how much the worms move up into this. We've got some worms in here now breaking it down. Okay, I'm gonna put one more little handful of this in here. All right, and that should be good. All right, so I'm gonna come back in a couple of weeks time and I'll update you on this bin and how things are going and maybe put up another couple of shorts to see how uh, things are going. Give you guys a quick look at, see how things are breaking down in here. But so far, so good. The worms are up in here, that's a good sign. So. We'll leave it like that uh, for next time and then we'll take a look. We'll see how that uh, pineapple husk is breaking down and we'll see what's going on there as far as the food and the carbon. All right, so thank you everybody for joining me. I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, happy worm farming everybody and I'll see you shortly. Thank you, bye.